Hey, this is Presh Walker. Start with the square whose side length is equal to one meter. Construct a circle that passes through a corner of the square and is tangent to the opposite two sides of the square. Shade in the following regions. These are the regions that are contained by the circle and the square, but not common to both shapes. The question is what is the total area that is shaded in blue? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Many students find this problem to be challenging, so let's work through it step by step. Shade in the common area between the two shapes. Now we want the area that's shaded in blue. That will be equal to the area of the circle plus the area of the square minus two times the overlapping area. Furthermore, construct the following right triangle. Since we have an inscribed 90 degree angle, the arc that it subtends will be a 180 degree arc. Therefore, the hypotenuse of this right triangle is the diameter of the circle, which means that this is a semicircle. So we can replace the region that's overlapping by the area of the triangle plus the area of the semicircle. So we'll substitute those in. From here, we have two times the area of a semicircle, and that will exactly cancel out with the area of the circle. So now we have a simple equation. The area that's shaded in blue equals the area of the square minus two times the area of this right triangle. So let's calculate the area of this right triangle. Start with the center of the circle. Then each of these will be a radius of the circle. This will also be a radius of the circle. Now we have two congruent triangles here, which will each be 45, 45, 90 right triangles. So each of their hypotenuses will be r times the square root of two. Now construct a line between the tangent point and the center of the circle. This will also be a radius of the circle. Do it for both of the tangency points. We now have a square, and the diagonal of this square will have length equal to r times the square root of 2. We can now consider the diagonal of the square with side 1. This diagonal will be equal to the square root of 2, but it's also equal to r plus r root 2. So we have r plus r root 2 is equal to root 2. We can carefully solve this equation for r. Now we can multiply by the conjugate to simplify a little more. So we get r is equal to 2 minus root 2. We're almost there. The area of the square is equal to 1 squared. The area of the triangle will be r root 2 multiplied by r root 2 all over 2. This simplifies to be r squared. We substitute these in. So the area we want is 1 minus 2 r squared. We've solved for r already. So we substitute in, we then just carefully need to simplify, and we get the answer of 8 root 2 minus 11 square meters, and that's approximately equal to 0 0.314 square meters. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.